victim firm behind fake Trump Russia dossier pleads fifth. Well, well, well. Dot, dot, what do we have here? For months on in the MSM and the Democrats have been trying to sell the American public a package of BS and it hasn't worked. Now we seem to know why, don't we? As much as Hillary Clinton and the MSM tried to sell us a sack of lies, the truth is coming out. There was no Trump Russia collusion. It was all about Hillary and her Uranium One sale. It was all about the money. There have been so many desperate attempts to discredit and attack Donald Trump both before and after the election that it's sometimes hard to keep track of them all. One of the most shocking of those character hit pieces was a so-called dossier on Trump that was was compiled when he was still a candidate. The 35-page document contained alleged dirt on the man who would become president, including supposed ties to Russia and defamatory details of Trump's personal life in a clear attempt to make it seem that Trump is either beholden to or vulnerable to blackmail from Russian President Vladimir Putin. That dossier was passed off as completely true by the president's opponents, but there's one major red flag, not a single bit of it has been proven to be accurate, and there are strong indications that it was completely fabricated as a smear tactic. Now. Two of the co-founders of the research firm that produced the infamous dossier are refusing to answer questions in front of the House Intelligence Committee. On Wednesday, Peter Fritsch and Thomas K. Tan of Fusion GPS, an opposition research firm, pleaded the fifth to literally every question that was asked by the committee. Pleading the Fifth Amendment means that a witness refuses to answer an inquiry in order to avoid self-incrimination. It is a long-established legal protection that does not immediately suggest guilt, but in this case, it certainly raises many hard questions about the dossier and the firm behind it. The House panel earlier this month subpoenaed Fritch, K-10 and their fellow partner, Glenn Simpson, to discuss their involvement in the dossier, which was compiled last year by former British spy Christopher Steele, explained the Daily Caller. Fusion was working for an ally of Hillary Clinton's last June. When the firm hired Steele to investigate Donald Trump's personal and business activities in Russia, continued the news magazine. Normally, an unconfirmed dossier compiled from a single source wouldn't hold much weight. In this case, however, the Obama holdover FBI apparently decided to use the UN source document to investigate Trump's alleged and unproven ties to Russia. After the Fusion GPS founders refused to answer questions in front of the House committee, Trump himself blasted the firm on Twitter. Workers of firm involved with the discredited and fake dossier take the fifth. Who paid for it, Russia, the FBI or the Dems, or all? demanded the president. As I said earlier, the MSM and Hillary Clinton have been trying to sell America a sack of lies for some time now, but for those of us with a brain, we all knew it wasn't true. It was all lies. They fabricated the whole thing just to make President Trump look bad and discredit him as president. Hillary is a sore loser. That's pretty obvious as she continues her international book tour of what happened? How pathetic is that? We all know what happened. She lied about Benghazi. She lied about her private server. She lied about her emails. She lied about stealing the nomination from Bernie. She lied about her husband's meeting on the tarmac and she lied about Trump. Hillary Clinton and the MSM did everything they could to try and derail Trump's candidacy, but it didn't work. They spread lies after lies. They paid to have a fabricated Trump dossier created. Even with their buddy, McCain delivering the goods. It didn't work. Their lies are catching up to them and sooner or later someone is going to have to pay the price. Americas deserve the truth of the truth.